guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video we will see part 2 of various forms of equation of a line in my previous video we have seen part 1 so if you want to watch that there is a link in the description box below you can check that out so we have already seen how to find equation of a line in three different conditions so today we will see slope intercept form intercept form and normal form these three all right so now let's see what is slope intercept form so when slope and intercept of a line is given then how to find the equation of a line so we know slope what is intercept for that let's say we have this is your x axis and this is your y axis let's consider a line l so intercept is nothing but it's a distance from origin to the point where this line cuts on the axis that means this point this is a y axis right so this line cuts on this y axis at this point so this distance is called as y intercept so this line cuts on the x axis at this point so the distance from the origin to this point so this distance is your x intercept since this side we have negative values for x so your intercept will be negative let's say if you have a line like this this is your x axis and this is your y axis if you have a line like this so this is a point where this line cuts the x axis right from the origin to this point this is your x intercept so here the x is positive so you have positive value positive intercept right so in general y intercept is represented by c and the x intercept is represented by small d all right so here we have two cases when slope and y intercept of a line is given then how to find the equation of a line and one more when slope and x intercept is given then how to find the equation of a line right so first let's see y intercept when y intercept and slope is given so let me raise this figure so first let's see case 1 when slope and y intercept is given slope and y intercept is given so here what is this point if this is c so this point will be 0 comma c right so now we have slope and this point so we can use point slope form so in point slope form we know y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 right so this is your x1 y1 let's substitute here y minus what is y1 c which is equal to m into x minus x1 is 0 so your equation will be y is equal to mx this minus c when we bring to this side this will be plus c so the equation of a line is given by y is equal to mx plus c so when slope and y intercept is given we will use this formula to find the equation of a line now let's see case 2 when slope and x intercept is given all right but before that pause the video and note this down so let's see case 2 so this is your x axis and this is your y axis so let's take a line like this so the distance from the origin to this point this is your x intercept which is denoted by d so now what is this point this point is d comma 0 correct so again same procedure slope we know and this point we know we can go for point slope form here point slope form we know y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so this is your x1 y1 so y minus y1 is 0 which is equal to m into x minus x1 is d so this you can further simplify y is equal to m into x minus d so this will be your equation when 
slope and x intercept is given here d is your x intercept m is the slope now let's see one example for this but before that pause the video and note this down so now let's see this problem here it says write the equation of the lines for which tan theta is half where theta is the inclination of the line and we have y intercept is minus 3 by 2 and x intercept is 4 so here we have to find two equations so when y intercept and slope is given we know the formula y is equal to mx plus c so what is m we know tan theta slope is nothing but tan theta right so tan theta is how much half so your m is half and c c means y intercept y intercept is given as minus 3 by 2 so let's substitute this here so y is equal to half x plus c is plus into minus will be minus so this is minus 3 by 2 so y is equal to let's take the lcm here 2 so x minus 3 so this implies 2y minus x plus 3 is equal to 0 so this is your equation of the line so this was the first one now let's see the second one let me erase this so now let's move on to the second one here we have x intercept is 4 so we know x intercept is denoted by d which is nothing but 4 slope is same m is equal to tan theta which is half right so we know for when x intercept and slope is given so what is the formula y is equal to m into x minus d simply substitute here so y is equal to m is half into x minus d is 4 so when you bring this 2 to here so this will be 2y which is equal to x minus 4 so 2y minus x plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is your equation of the line so I hope this is clear now let's move on to the fifth form but before that pause the video and note this down so now let's see what is intercept form in this type two intercepts are given x and y intercept of a line is given so when two intercepts are given then how to find the equation of a line so let's take this is your x axis and this is your y axis let's consider a line L so this point from origin to this point let's take this as a this distance so this will be your x intercept right from origin to this point let's take this as b so this is your y intercept so what will be this point so this will be 0 comma b and this point will be a comma 0 right so now we have two points we can apply two point form right so this let's consider this is a, this has y x1 y1 and this has x2 y2 so what does two point form say we know the formula for two point form we have y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 what is y1 here so y1 is 0 which is equal to m slope when two points are there we know how to find the slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y2 is b so b minus y1 is 0 by x2 so 0 minus x1 is a so this is your slope into x minus x1 is a so this implies when we cross multiply here so minus a into y will be a y minus a y which is equal to b into x is b x plus into minus is minus b into a is a b right so now let's bring, bring this to this side so this will be plus a b is equal to b x plus a y right so when i bring this to the denominator here we are left with 1 which is equal to b x plus a y by a b so let me continue here so 1 is equal to here b and b is gone we are left with x by a plus in these two terms a and a is gone y by b so this is the formula to find the equation of a line when x and y intercept of a line is given so you can write as x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 
So, this will be your formula. All right. So, first let us solve one problem under this. Before that, pause the video and note this down. So, now let us see this problem. Here it says, find the equation of the line which makes intercepts minus 3 and 2 on the x and y axis respectively. So, your x intercept is minus 3 and y intercept is 2, right? We know x intercept means this is a and y intercept means we have taken it as b, right? So, let us substitute the formula. We know x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So, x intercept you will write x by x intercept, y by y intercept which is equal to 1. So, x by a is minus 3 plus y by b is 2 which is equal to 1. So, you will simplify taking LCM. So, you will end up getting 2x minus 3y plus 6 equal to 0. So, this is your equation of the line. Now, let us move on to the last form that is normal form. So, now let us see the last form of equation that is normal form. Here normal is nothing but perpendicular. Alright. In this form, they will give two things. One is the length of the perpendicular from origin to the line and one more is angle which normal makes with a positive x axis. So, let us see what are these. Let us take x y plane. So, this is your y x axis and this is your y axis. Let us take a line L. So, they are saying it is the length of the perpendicular from origin to the line. So, this is your origin from here to this line that is a perpendicular line. So, so this line is perpendicular to this line. So, this length is given. So, when this length and one more we have angle which normal makes with a positive x axis. So, this is your normal. Normal means nothing but it is a perpendicular line. So, this line making angle along the positive x axis that means this angle let us take this as omega. So, when these two things are given then the equation of the line is given by formula x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. So, this is a formula we are using to find the equation of this line. So, when the length of the perpendicular from the origin to the line and the angle which the normal makes with the positive x axis when these two quantities are given then we will find the equation of a line by using formula x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. Let us say the line is in x dash y dash plane. This is your x dash and this is your y dash. Let us take a line L like this. Then what is p? p is nothing but it is a distance from origin to the this line that is a normal length of the perpendicular from origin to this line. So, let us take this point as r. So, O r is p and what is omega? Omega is nothing but the angle which normal makes along the positive x axis. So, this is your positive x axis. So, that means this angle is omega. Similarly, if line is in x dash y dash plane. Let us take a line like this. So, what is P? From here to here is P. Let us take this as L. This is your origin. So, OL is P and omega will be the angle from along the positive direction of x axis. So, that means this angle is omega. So, I hope this is clear. So, you have to remember this formula. So, let us see one example for this. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So, now let us see this problem. Here it says, find the equation of the line whose perpendicular distance from the origin is 4 units and the angle which the normal makes with positive direction of x axis is 15 degree. So, what is given? Line whose perpendicular distance from the origin is 4 units which means P, right? That is 4 units. Length from the origin to the line. What we saw is P, right? So, that is 4 units and the angle that is a normal makes with the positive direction of the x axis is 15 degree which means omega is 15 degree. 
So now we know when these two are given, we know the formula to find the equation of the line is given by x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. This is the formula. So x cos omega cos of 15 degree plus y sin omega is 15 degree is equal to p is 4. So first let's find what is cos 15. Cos 15 degree. So cos 15 you can write as cos of 45 degree minus 30 degree. So this will give you cos 15. So this is of the form cos of A minus B. So in trigonometry we have formulas for all these. We will see that alright. So for now we will remember this as cos of A minus B is cos A into cos B plus sin A into sin B. That is the formula for cos of A minus B. So let's write that. So cos A, A is 45 degree into cos B is 30 degree plus sin A, sin is 45 degree into sin B is 30 degree. So let's substitute all these values. What is cos of 45 degree? So cos 45 is 1 by root 2 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus what is sin 45? Sin 45 is also 1 by root 2 into sin 30 is half. So in the denominator we have 2 root 2, right? So in the numerator we have root 3 plus 1. So we got cos 15 as, so x into cos 15 as root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 plus y into, what is sin 15? So let me erase this, I am running out of space. So now let's see what is sin 15 degree. So sin 15 also you can write as sin of 45 degree minus 30 degree. So this is of the form sin of A minus B. Now what is the formula for sin A minus B? So that is sin A into cos B minus cos A into sin B. So sin A into cos B minus cos A into sin B. This is A and B, alright? So what is sin 45? Sin 45 is 1 by root 2 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus cos 45. What is cos 45? 1 by root 2 into sin 30 is 1 by 2. So this will give you, your denominator we have 2 root 2. So root 3 minus 1 into 1 is. So now let's substitute this sin 15 here. So root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 is equal to 4. Right? So let's write this in the simplified form. So let me do here. So here you have 2 root 2, right? In the denominator that we will bring to this side. So we are left with root 3 plus 1 into x plus root 3 minus 1 into y which is equal to here 2 root 2, you know, common denominator 2 root 2 into 4. So 4 2 is 8, 8 root 2, correct? So 8 root 2. So this is your equation of the line. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. We will solve some exercise problems in my next video. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.